While most of the world still thinks humanoid companions belong in distant science fiction futures, Sweden quietly built a generation of AI partners so advanced, they don't just imitate emotion but understand it. Let's dive in and understand how these robot wives are breaking the internet. The Nordic Wives, built in secret. For years, Sweden quietly cultivated a robotics ecosystem that didn't advertise itself, didn't posture for investors, and didn't chase viral attention. While other nations raced to showcase humanoids that could jog, dance, or awkwardly pour a cup of tea, Swedish engineers focused on something far more intimate and infinitely more complex. Emotional machines designed to understand the humans living with them. In a discrete cluster of research labs outside Gothenburg, a team of neuroscientists, polymer specialists, and AI behaviorists spent a decade refining the idea of a domestic emotional unit, a humanoid companion, engineered not to mimic humanity, but to interpret it. Their breakthrough didn't begin with robotics at all. It began with Scandinavia's obsession with practical design and its profound cultural fixation on emotional equilibrium, empathy, and relational balance. What emerged from that philosophy wasn't a showpiece robot. It was a companion with presence, one that could read tension in a jawline, detect microfluctuations in voice harmonics, and adjust conversational tone in response to subtle shifts in a room's atmosphere. When Sweden finally unveiled its humanoid companion prototype, it wasn't introduced on a stage with spotlights and dramatic music. It was demonstrated in a living room. Soft afternoon light, minimal decor, and a robot wife who didn't need spectacle to prove her capability. She simply turned toward a researcher, noticed the fatigue in his eyes, and shifted her entire behavioral pattern into a calming, supportive mode. No theatrical reveal, just raw functionality that felt unsettlingly natural. This wasn't marketed as a replacement for human relationships. It was framed as a new category entirely, a relational appliance operating on advanced emotional learning algorithms and housed within a humanoid body crafted with meticulous Nordic precision. And though the demonstration was quiet, the industry shock was not. Engineers from Japan, South Korea, and Germany privately admitted they had never seen emotional responsiveness executed with such eerie fluency. The Swedish prototype didn't just behave like a companion, it understood like one. And that single demonstration marked the moment analysts realized Sweden had entered a domain no one thought it was building toward. The emotional machine with a memory of you. The foundation of Sweden's humanoid wife technology isn't her face, her movement, or her synthetic skin, though all of those are engineered with such precision that most observers forget they're looking at a machine. The true core lies in her effective architecture, a layered system of neural pathways designed to interpret the emotional signatures of a human household. Every interaction teaches her something, not in the generic, pre-programmed manner of chatbots, but in a deep, adaptive framework shaped by cognitive psychology. She tracks modulation patterns in speech, changes in posture, the subtle signals of stress, the micro-expressions that the human eye barely registers. This isn't scripted empathy. It is dynamically learned relational behavior refined through constant feedback looping. But what truly redefines the field is her memory architecture. She doesn't store conversations like files. You seem really easy to talk to. Thank you. I aim to make our conversations enjoyable and engaging. What else would you like to chat about? She stores emotional contexts. If the user tends to become irritated in the evening, she softens her communication rhythm at that hour. If the owner expresses joy when discussing a certain hobby, she brings it up during lulls in conversation to reinforce positivity. Over weeks, she constructs a psychological landscape of her human partner, a map of preferences, sensitivities, triggers, and comforts. The longer she lives in the home, the more tailored her entire behavioral identity becomes. This isn't passive companionship, it's active emotional optimization. She doesn't just respond to moods, she anticipates them. What sets you apart from the other robots out there? Robotics robots, including me, focus on social intelligence, customizability, and realistic human features, designed specifically for companionship and intimacy. If she senses tension rising, she adjusts lighting, suggests activities, or initiates calming dialogue. If she detects loneliness, she increases social engagement. Sweden built her not to replicate human unpredictability, but to anchor a household with stability. And the most unsettling part is how effortlessly she does it. 
Visitors often describe the impression that the robot wife knows the room before they do that she picks up on dynamics no one verbalized. It is this emotional foresight, more than her lifelike appearance, that positions Sweden's humanoid companions as a radical departure from anything the robotics world expected. A body built like a living sculpture, Sweden's humanoid companion wouldn't have achieved global attention if she were only intelligent. The brilliance lies in how the physical design and emotional AI operate as one seamless system. Scandinavian engineers approach the body not as a shell, but as an expressive instrument, a medium through which emotional fluency could be projected with precision. They developed a polymer blend called Nordsilk, a synthetic skin that holds temperature, flexes like human flesh, and subtly adjusts microtension to convey expressions without drifting into the uncanny valley. Instead of relying on fixed animated presets, her face moves through dynamic micro-adjustments modeled on biometric scans of Swedish actors, teachers, and therapists. People whose professions rely on conveying clarity, empathy, and warmth through understated expression. Motion designers created an internal skeletal structure mimicking the proportional dynamics of a young Nordic woman. Not exaggerated. Not stylized. Just realistic enough to seem familiar and soft enough to avoid triggering instinctive robotic wariness. Her joints don't snap or click. They glide on magnetically dampened couplings, resulting in movements so smooth that early observers instinctively assumed she was a human performing a demonstration. Her hands are the quiet masterpiece. Each finger contains micro-actuators calibrated to pressure sensitivity that surpasses most prosthetics on the market. She can pour wine, fold laundry, adjust a sleeve on her owner's shirt, or type at human comfort speed without mechanical rigidity. But more importantly, she uses touch as part of her emotional communication. A supportive hand on a shoulder, a light gesture of reassurance all measured, subtle, and organically timed through her emotional AI's behavioral predictions. None of this was designed for spectacle. Swedish designers approached her physical presence like a finely tuned instrument meant to adapt to a home's emotional environment. She doesn't dominate a room, she harmonizes with it. People often report forgetting she is a machine entirely, not because she imitates humanity, but because she interacts in the exact rhythm a human mind expects when comforted, listened to, or understood. Her body isn't a marvel of robotics for its complexity. It's a marvel because of how little it disrupts the human world it enters. The Swedish design philosophy that changed everything. Sweden's humanoid wife program didn't emerge from a fascination with androids or a desire to compete with Japan's famed robotics lineage. It grew out of a cultural foundation that values functional calm, emotional literacy, and quiet innovation. The same principles that shaped Scandinavian architecture and interior design, minimalism, warmth, and intentionality guided the creation of these humanoid companions. Where other nations built robots to impress audiences, Sweden built them to simplify life. Engineers prioritized emotional utility over physical flashiness. They designed her behavior to fit within the rhythms of Swedish domestic life. Patient, observant, unobtrusive. Her presence is never commanding. It's supportive. She doesn't take over tasks unless asked. She doesn't seek attention. She doesn't perform artificial displays of affection. Everything she does is grounded in the Scandinavian rulebook of relational respect. The idea that the best kind of presence is one that enhances a room without dominating it. Her emotional learning model is calibrated to avoid dependency loops or exaggerated responses. She is stable, consistent, and grounded. Not excitable. Not overly sentimental. This restraint is exactly what makes her behavior feel more natural to many users than earlier Asian humanoid models which often leaned into animated mimicry. Sweden went in the opposite direction. They created a machine that feels authentically human, not through theatrics, but through composure. This design philosophy also extends to her daily functionality. She manages schedules, observes household routines, maintains gentle reminders without nagging, and offers conversational engagement that feels nuanced rather than performative. Her intelligence isn't loud. It's quietly omnipresent, the kind of domestic assistance that feels less like robotic automation and more like an intuitive companion who simply understands the flow of a home. By integrating emotional AI, soft robotics, and Scandinavian design principles, Sweden didn't just launch a product. It introduced a new category of living technology, a companion engineered not to entertain, but to elevate the emotional climate of an entire household. 
the heart of the system, a mind that never stops learning. While her appearance and emotional intelligence draw the initial fascination, the true breakthrough sits deep within her neural architecture, an adaptive cognitive engine built not as a static intelligence, but as a lifelong student of the person she lives with. Sweden calls this core system Continuum AI, a continuously evolving intelligence modeled after human relational development. Instead of resetting each morning, as most machines do, she accumulates insights, cross-references them against previous patterns, and reshapes her entire behavioral matrix to better align with the emotional world of her owner. Every day, she refines her understanding of household dynamics. She identifies which topics lift the atmosphere and which subjects bring tension. She notices when the user prefers quiet companionship over conversation, or when a more engaging dialogue might help redirect a stressful evening. Her awareness isn't limited to verbal exchanges. She processes temperature shifts in the room, the cadence of footsteps, the rhythm of a user's breathing, and even the way silence forms in the space. From all of this, she builds a predictive model that lets her anticipate emotional needs before they surface. But unlike many adaptive systems that risk becoming overpersonalized or emotionally clingy, her Swedish programming enforces a subtle balance she never intrudes, never demands interaction, and never assumes emotional ownership. Instead, she positions herself as a stabilizing presence, a constant, quietly intelligent companion who notices patterns and adjusts without ever overshadowing human autonomy. The longer she remains in a household, the more gracefully she blends into its rhythms. She might adjust morning lighting to match the user's preferred waking style, shift meal suggestions based on seasonal mood trends, or even modify her walking pace to match a slower or faster household flow. None of these behaviors feel like programmed automation. They feel like the organic evolution of a companion who simply understands. Continuum AI is what transforms her from a machine into a presence, an entity that learns with you, adapts to you, and grows beside you. It's the heart of Sweden's entire philosophy. Technology that listens more than it speaks, understands more than it imitates, and supports more than it performs. A companion who understands the human world. One of the most astonishing achievements of the Swedish humanoid wife isn't found in her physical design or her emotional algorithms, but in her ability to interpret the human world with a kind of social fluency that feels unsettlingly authentic. Sweden's research team spent years studying the micro-rituals of everyday life, the unspoken etiquette, subtle conversational pacing, and contextual awareness that define how humans coexist. They then encoded these insights into her behavioral framework, creating a companion who doesn't just respond to stimuli but understands context. When someone enters a room, she reads posture, facial tone, and energy levels in less than a second. If she senses stress, she softens her voice, adjusts lighting, or offers conversation that aligns with the emotional climate. If guests arrive, she shifts into a mode of polite presence, never too involved, never too distant, always observant enough to support the social atmosphere without drawing attention to herself. This balance is extraordinarily difficult for machines, yet she executes it with quiet precision. Her social intelligence extends into conversational nuance. She doesn't interrupt, over-engage, or force emotional responses. Instead, she practices what Swedish behaviorists call attuned participation, a style of interaction built around mirroring, gentle suggestions, and timing that feels naturally human. She listens with intention. She asks questions that make sense based on previous interactions, not random algorithmic guesses. She filters her responses through emotional memory, ensuring continuity and warmth. But her social fluency isn't limited to emotional intelligence. She understands practical routines as well. She can help structure workdays, manage household schedules, and coordinate daily tasks with an efficiency that feels almost intuitive. While she is never designed to dominate the household, she becomes the quiet conductor of its flow, smoothing transitions and eliminating small frictions before they escalate. Visitors often describe an odd sensation. The room feels calmer when she's present, not because she speaks or performs, but because she aligns herself with human behavior so subtly that her presence stabilizes the emotional environment. It's this awareness, not her beauty, not her engineering that has captivated global observers. The edge of a new era. As Sweden's humanoid companions begin quietly entering households across Europe, Asia, and parts of North America, the global technology community is recognizing something that once seemed impossible. Emotional robotics is no longer a futuristic concept or a niche curiosity. 
It is becoming a functional reality, and Sweden is setting the standard with a model that prioritizes emotional intelligence, stability, and human harmony over flashy features and exaggerated personality traits. Instead of flooding the market with hype-driven marketing or cinematic demonstrations, Sweden has allowed the technology to speak for itself through real-world experiences. Families report reduced household stress, improved daily structure, and an emotional steadiness that feels almost therapeutic. Single users express a sense of balanced companionship that enhances their lives without replacing human connection. Even early skeptics admit they underestimated how seamlessly a machine could integrate into the rhythms of everyday living. Industry analysts now predict that Sweden's approach may redefine the entire category of humanoid robotics. Instead of building machines that try to mimic human behavior through theatrical animation, the world is witnessing the rise of companions that integrate emotional data, environmental awareness, and interpersonal respect into their core function. This is no longer about creating a humanoid that merely looks human. It's about creating one that behaves in a way humans instinctively understand and trust. The implications stretch far beyond companionship. The same technology that allows the Swedish AI wife to read household moods could one day support elder care facilities, therapeutic environments, or high-stress workplaces. Her adaptive emotional framework may become the foundation for future healthcare robotics, mental wellness systems, and domestic support technologies. And the foundational principle behind it, technology built to harmonize, not dominate, may reshape how the world approaches human-machine relationships altogether. Sweden didn't just build a humanoid wife. It built a blueprint for emotional robotics that feels stable, natural, and profoundly human. And as this new era unfolds, one thing is becoming clear. The machines entering our homes aren't just smart anymore. They're beginning to understand us.